Hi everyone. Well, it's nearly December 21st and everybody's worried about 2012. But maybe they should be more worried about 1984 and I'll tell you why. But first I want to tell you who won the contest for my Christmas giveaway for a, a little piece of my kombucha as a kombucha starter. And the winners are Lenora 2020, Little Lindley Lou, Kathy Anderson, AA True, Brap All Good, Cindy Barb 238, Barb Murphy, Darren Sangster, User Gently, and Rosip 101. So congratulations to the winners. Um, I'm gonna message you so you can send me your address and I'll be sending you a piece of my booch. And everybody, please uh, don't forget to rate this video, comment on it, favorite it, and subscribe to my channel. So now back to 1984 and why maybe you should be more worried about that than about 2012. Well, first of all, cops to Congress. We need logs of Americans' text messages. Apparently it turns out that um, the uh, service providers for text messaging, they have very different policies about what they do with the information. And when the police want it, it's not always available to them. And so they'd like to make it official now that they will be, the, the providers will be holding onto this information for two years so that if the cops need it, they can get it. Kind of makes you feel like you're under surveillance, doesn't it? Well, you know what? You already are under surveillance and probably the cops are going to get what they want because as it is, the government, the NSA and the FBI are already keeping track of all your emails. So says William Binney, whistleblower and former NSA crypto mathematician. According to William Binney, every email that you've ever written in your life is stored in these facilities for later use and if the government decides that they want to investigate you for some reason they can just pull up this information and for those people who say well I have nothing to hide so I have nothing to fear because um, I haven't done anything wrong well he points out that it's not you who decides whether you've done anything wrong it's the government and it could just be a, a matter of you just ticking somebody off or getting on the wrong side uh, of somebody and then they just decide to, to have it in for you. This shouldn't be much of a surprise to you because it did come out a couple of years ago that Google and the NSA were finally teaming up. Google has become an extension of the government surveillance system. So they track your emails, they track everything you do on Google, they want to track your text messages too. What's next? Put a black box in your car? I'm not joking, they actually want to put a black box in your car. White House wants black boxes in cars. They say that this is for your security so that if you have an accident, they can then figure out whether it was the car that malfunctioned. I think probably, if anything, that's to protect the automotive companies from liability for, for claims that people make that they had the accident because it malfunctioned. But I don't think that that's the real reason at all. I think they just want to put a black box in your car so they can record your conversations. Is this a one-way street? You know 9-11 was an inside job, right? Come on, Grandma, hurry up. Do you believe in aliens? Oh my god, it is a one-way street. So they want to spy on you in your car, but at least they're not going to spy on you in your own home, right? Well, think again, because now Verizon has invented this TV that, just like in the movie 1984, it actually sees what you're doing in your living room. It can tell how many people are there, and it can tell what they're doing. Private corporation intends to watch you have sex and more gearing ads towards you through your cable box. Excuse me for a second. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, a hairball. I'll tell you from the bottom of my heart, if I had a genie in a bottle and I could just have one wish, I would wish to move away from North America as far as possible. I would probably go to... Africa, maybe, maybe not Africa, maybe, maybe Latin America, somewhere in the jungles, but anywhere outside of, of North America because things are just getting really weird around here. So what do you think? Should we be more worried about 2012 or 1984? And if you could live anywhere on the planet, where would you like to live? Leave me your comments and thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time.